let's talk about Skelly mm-hmm. a little bit. Uh, so in, what Skelly is, is it's basically seven on seven, right? Like yes. it's, it's essentially what it is. Yeah. Um, depending on how you run it. But uh, let's talk about our secondary. I'm super impressed with our secondary. Are you still going against the ones right now in fall camp against secondary? Yeah, so we, it, you know, it, it depends on the rotation. Okay. Um, and each position coach rotates their guys differently, but I'm taking reps with the threes right now. And Skelly's actually different because we just kind of rotate groups in and out. Every so many plays? Yeah, every so okay. many plays. So you can be going with the ones, you can go with the threes, you know. It's, it just lines up how Yeah, it, lines it just up. lines up how it lines up. So it, it really depends on how the lineup is. Um, but yeah, I mean, I go against the ones, I go against the twos, you know, it's just kind of a mix, especially in Skelly because well, that, yeah, that's what Skelly is. You just sort of yeah. rotate in and out. And so that's that's fun, you know, because you get to see different looks. You get to go with different guys versus, you know, me just repping the threes or repping the twos yeah. or whatever it is, you know. So so uh, D'Lo, Caleb Hayes, and Gabe Judy Lally all seem to me like they have NFL potential. I don't know if they all get drafted, but I bet one of them gets drafted and then the rest could get free agent contracts. Is there a little bit of a battle there for minutes? Is there just Coach G of a rotation? What are you noticing in fall camp? I mean, uh, you know, being on the scout team, you know, I might have had a better idea. But right now, being mostly with the offense, I don't know. I you mean, haven't seen that? Seen those looks so much? It, it seems like, you know, they all get decent playing time and they're taking advantage of the reps that they get, right? And yeah. it's it's not so much about counting your reps as much as it is, is making your reps count. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, all three of those dudes have ability. All three of those dudes are going to play, you know, and so – at the end of the day, they're preparing, and I mean, those dudes are going to be ballers. Yeah, I, so, I'm super excited about oh, yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Gabe, I think, is a little bit slept on. Just like people don't watch Vanderbilt football, if the fan base knows, but he's sure. long for a corner. When yeah, I first met so. Gabe, I was like, "Yeah, you're a corner." <laughs> like he's long. He he's got hands, man. He doesn't drop all those picks. Like I think he's going to push Caleb and Dilo, who are amazing. I think he's going to push those guys for some time and minutes and like make them better. So. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what it's all about is that competition, right? Yeah. That healthy competition because it makes everybody better, right? No matter who plays, no matter who's out there, if we have that healthy competition within our own team, yeah. it makes everybody around you better, right? And so, you know, Gabe, um, D'Lo, Caleb, they're solid players and they're all going to push each other. And I think that's, that's you know, what Taki and, and, you know, what all the coaches have plan for us right that's the goal is to create healthy competition in our position rooms yeah because it pushes everybody makes them better so talk about competing let's say we're going one-on-ones okay so you got man Mm one-on-one and uh a-rod or whoever's working with you lets you pick one wide receiver to go against (laughs) the best of you best winner who's who's your first draft pick oh that's tough i know because there's like seven legit ones i take i take all of them dude it's political you know i can't i can't choose because you know i mean you got you got puka who's an absolute baller you got you know you got chase out there who's my guy one of my good really good friends i mean you got Tanner Wall even, right? And Who's nobody really nobody knows, knows about Tanner, Tanner is, but, but he's a baller, right? So in every aspect, from ones to twos to threes, yeah. I mean, you got ballers out there, right? And so it depends. You know, it depends on what route, really, because I think okay. I'm taking all of them in each different route. Different routes. <laughs> That's true. You know, That's I mean, true. you got Kibo on a deep fade ball. Yeah. You know, you just put it up for that guy. Yeah. Puka anything deep. Yeah. Just put it up there for. Let him awesome. Yeah. You know, and so they all have their own special things. So. I, if I had to choose one, I, you know, I have to pin on the route for sure. Okay, so you got, okay, well, I, I was going to think you get a more specified question. I don't, I don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want, I don't want anyone rocking I don't, you I don't want either of you to come back and be like, hey, man, why didn't you pick me? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, man, I pick all of you. you I know? picked I'll you all. I'll take anybody. Well, so. hey, just real quick, talk about Tanner Wall, because I had a conversation with someone, and we were kind of talking about schematically, we haven't used a ton of, like, speed slots. Mm-hmm. Um, we've used a lot. I'm not complaining about what we're doing. Like, we're obviously winning a lot of football games. Oh, yeah. Throwing for a lot of Absolutely. yards and touchdowns. But it seems we haven't used the speed slots quite as much. But just hype up, like, some of these speed slots we have. Because Tanner, Chris Jackson, and Cade Moore are all guys who fit that traditional, like, speed slot role and just can ball out of that F position. Talk about that for us. Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they take reps all around. Um, but... Yeah, I mean those those dudes that you mentioned are are absolute ballers, right? And that's like you said, goes back to our depth. You know, I mean we've created a receiver room of depth and competition, and so you know whoever's out there, I have faith that they're going to be able to run around, they're going to be able to catch the ball, you know, better than anybody, right? Yeah. And so 
But yeah, I mean, Cade Moore is fast as lightning. Yeah. Like, Tanner Wall is fast as lightning. Chris Jackson is fast as lightning, right? So those dudes are fast. And they, I mean, they can play outside too. That's the beauty of it is they can play in the slot, but they can also play outside, right? We yeah. have a lot of guys like that that can, that can do both. Um, but yeah, you know, when you have that aspect of a speed slot, it's hard to cover, you know, especially in certain situations where they're manned up on like a Sam Nickel. Yeah. Right. Um, or, or a nickel Sam, I should say, who, who might be a bigger dude, maybe not as agile as somebody like Cade Moore, Tanner, or Chris. Yeah, um, yeah it plays a huge aspect. But. Bill Belichick's like made a reputation for getting these speed slots and just saying like, hey, are you going to put a big body in there who wants to help out in the run game? Or are you mm-hmm. going to put a true DB out there to cover my guy? And whatever you do, you're wrong, right? Yep. You put in a big body, we're going to hit arrows, five and outs. We're going to just dice you up on that. If you put in a smaller guy, then we've got that run advantage. We're just going to run, hit those alleys, and yep. do those things. So absolutely, um, be cool. Be cool to see that. We do it. We do it a little bit, but be cool to see a little more. So I know there's dudes there. Oh yeah, you know, I want to see all my dudes ball out. Yep. So, oh yeah. I mean, you know, who doesn't, right? But yeah. <laughs>